Now the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of some of that graphite. Now I could be using my eraser here but in a situation like this where I've got a lot of it I am using the, my soft eraser and you'll see that I'm still leaving traces of the graphite left that will be covered up by the white there's a difference between the two. I can't take it all out altogether, otherwise I'll definitely lose my way. What we must do is must protect our picture. Okay, so let's start off. I'm I do normally start with the ear, but I'm not going to this time. I'm going to start by putting some white fur, working strictly. And boy, do I mean oh, another area here that get rid of too. Yes, when I say strictly in a situation like this it really is strictly in the direction of the hair. If you don't do that you're in trouble right from the beginning. So I've already, as I said before, um, get an idea of how this is going to work by using my graphite pencil. That's another area. You really must get rid of all of these really strong markings when you're using white. Unless you're putting grey over the top. Okay, there we are. Now it comes, you see, it comes in from there. It comes up and over. Now this is the important thing like that. It's no good just... It, it, it's no good following just... Oh, I'm just going to fill that in with white. Willy-nilly. It's got to have that kind of effect so straight away because I'm using the color of the paper as well here to show you you can see how that is building around there and that's going to be made obvious now when I bring the next color in which is going to be ivory now ivory working in the same way now are we going to put white back on we certainly are but at this moment of time, what I'm trying to do at this initial stage is to just get set the pattern. Something I've just realised I've overshot there a little. I don't want to do that. It's quite tight. The hair doesn't... It does here extend, but it doesn't here. So we want to keep that fairly close. Right. Uh, back to the ivory. And then another colour, which I'm going to use which really should be a bit sharper than this, is the grey. Now this is 230. There's a lot of colour going into this. There's pinks and stronger greys. And it's like a, almost like a peachy colour. Now you see how I'm filling that paper up. But I'm filling it up not with solid white but with the other colours as well. All these three colours that I've used here are all brilliant base colours. So that means in a minute we can start building stronger colours into it. But not just yet, because now I'm going to use the pink. The pink I'm going to use is 132. And I don't want too much of this. Now this is not going to show up really pink because of all the colours we've already put on. But each time I'm following the strict fur or hair direction. Now the reason it's not so solid in here is because I'm going to add another colour now. And this is the grey. And this is 233. Lightly. Lightly. We're going to have to make it a bit, a bit darker than this, but lightly to start off with. And that can come up it come into the area we've done now immediately I've done that I've almost reached the color I wanted there that didn't take long did it there is though a kind inside here let me just show you the picture for a moment there is inside here almost like a peachy color and there's certainly another color here which I haven't used yet that would be 187 when I get to it. But this is what I'm looking for at the moment, that colour there. So let's see if we can get it. See if you can imagine what my next colour will be to create that tone. 
while I just finish this off. Very, very light. It's a strong colour, but it's very close to the colour we're looking for. Remember, we can put the white back into it again. Right, now what colour is that? I'll tell you what colour it is, folks. That one. What's that? 189. Now, if you've seen other pictures of mine, you'll see that I've used this quite a lot. A combination of 233 and 139. And that creates that peachy look that I'm looking for. And I've already put the 132 on, which was lovely, but this is a little stronger. I'll just show you the difference between the two. That's 189 and that's 132. You see the difference in tone? That's important, but that is now vital. And then we blend it. Now, I have got a new blender here that I've been using. It, it doesn't replace any of the others except it, it, it's like an additional colour, but what I've got to do is make sure I don't have any foreign bodies in there. There we are. Now this is, you can see the shape of it. And what it is, it's very soft at the end. This is the the other colour shape that we've been using, which is a little harder. It, it's not a hard, I mean the hardest one will be that one. That's, that's um, grey. Then it's that one which is a little softer, and that one is very soft, you can see that. So we've got a, another colour shaper. And this is on our store now, so you'll be able to it up if you feel you, you need it and here I'm just using this color shaper to just to blend in again working strictly in the direction of the fur you're gonna get fed up with me telling you this but I'm gonna keep reminding you but look at the way that's coming up now that is almost almost folks what we need now you wouldn't have thought that that would be possible but it is we need a bit more strength and we're going to put that in, in a minute but that creates the effect we want this is what we're looking for remember now i said to you we're also going to introduce another color which we are and that color is going to be 187 now this is very subtle there's not a lot of color in it but added to the tones that we've already got in the picture It's a welcome addition. And it's only really there. It doesn't extend very far. Just a little, perhaps a little spot or two. Like that, but not much. And the other thing is, you've also got what we call artistic license. Now, artistic license means if you want to put another colour in, you can. And if you want to exaggerate a colour, you can. But that is really looking nice. Now, I need to make that a little darker now. So I'm going back in with the grey again. And um, this will just deepen that tone a little more. This is with the 233 grey. What we're looking for is, a, is, is the combination here. Remember, I'm putting white back on here again. So this needs to be not a lot darker than that, to be honest. A little bit more of the one eight seven in there before we come back in with the one eight nine. One eight nine now is mixing with that grey, giving us that tone that we're looking for. And now once the eye goes in, we'll almost certainly have to revisit this area. But for the moment I'm gonna leave it like that. Except I'm also going to very carefully blend that colour in. There we are, lovely. And a little bit there. And the white can go back again. You wouldn't have thought that that was possible, would you? But look at that, that white going. Now, why is that working, Colin? When I try it, I hear you say, it doesn't go like that. Well, it... it it's because I haven't put overly a, 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 a lot of white on there. I was going to see an overly amount of white, but I don't know whether that's a good grammar. But so that allows me then to put the white back. You see that? Now that's looking great. 
come back in here don't want too much in there because we don't want that to remain quite dark just here it's pretty light and we're putting some contrast on both sides of this so I need to come in here to make that just a little bit brighter so there we are that's the first little bit done and now what I'll do is the other side because I think I'll do the top of the head before I do the ears so I'm going to do this exactly the same way as I've done that